Hello, everybody. I'm back. I just got done um, with one of our selling events, and there was something that was bothering me, and I wanted to come on and show you what was bothering me. So I'm going to wait a few minutes and let people get into come into the chat. Um, let me know when you guys come in. I see a couple of you have arrived. It's just going to be a quick 10-minute video. I want to tell you what happened. Hey, Holly, how are you, sweetheart? Welcome in. So, hey, Lindsay Ann. Hello, KP. John, Dad's Vintage Garage. Mama G, thank you for coming in. And thank you, thank you. I'll explain to you in a minute um, what's on my mind. So after tonight's auction, um, we, uh, I went off and I said to T, so now you guys know that I don't always look at everything, um, that I'm selling. I don't always research things. I just look at them quickly, you know, bring them to auction. So I sold this purse tonight. I sold this purse and it's definitely worn. Okay. Um, it's not brand new, like the brand new purses that I usually sell. And um, Mama G made a comment in the chat, which I haven't seen Mama G around a lot. And she was like, Oh, I'm here lurking. And she said, A couple of people have asked for the serial number on this purse. So, um, I said, well, I showed the serial number. And so I showed it again. And um, Sandy Kirk was the one that bid on it. And she won. A couple of other people bid on it, too. I started it at $5. Um, and it sold for $36, this purse. So what I did was after I went live, it was really bothering me. And I looked at it. And I took a closer look at it. And I said to T, I said, you know what? It says coach on it right there you can see it leather wear um it has the the stitching on the side like i always show you you guys you know that uh fine pocketbooks always wrap the stitching so that was good and then i looked at the tag you know and i saw the number and it said one 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 eight three so what i did was i went on and i'm going to screen share my screen so bear with me a minute here um because i sell a lot of pocketbooks and i'm pretty good at um finding out you know, just by looking at them i'm usually pretty good as as to you know um um, knowing whether or not a purse is real or not. So the first thing that I noticed was the tag. So you can see the, see the handle here. You see how it's a loop. Okay. And I'm going to take myself back over here and I'm going to show you this. This loop is split. It's not a loop. It's just split. So kind of got a little suspicious about that. And then I took a, hey, Bolo Buddies. Um, so then I took another look at this purse. Oh, and by the way, this purse is listed as a coach 1183 rare signature striped blue denim zip satchel handbag. It's listed for $169.99. Almost looks identical to what I have here. Let me show you. I didn't screen share that. Um, hold on one second. Let me screen share this again. And here it is. Here's the purse. $169.99, right? Coach 1183 rare signature striped blue denim zip satchel purse. So I started to look at this and I noticed you see this here, this little band on it with the two little stitches right there. Well, I took a look at mine 
and you can see it's very different. You see that? Very, very different. It doesn't look anything like the one that's listed on eBay. So then I, let me go back to this. I looked at the purse again and I noticed that 1183 and it says number GO 7261183 and it's gold and you can see the stitching on it is really beautiful and it's gold and this is a rare purse so I went back to my purse that I sold tonight at auction and I saw that mine's not gold mine's not gold it just says 1183 as you can see one one eight three you see that and then you see the stitching on that the stitching is not perfect like coach usually does it does have the coach on the buckle you see that it says coach on the buckle the next thing that i noticed was um which was another telltale sign for me when I quickly did a search on this purse was that, let me put this back on and I'm going to go back here and let's see. Let's see. I showed you that picture. Okay. So you see here, Let's see if I can enlarge this any bigger. It won't let me enlarge it. You Can you see my, my cursor where it's wrapped here at the top where the, where the, um, where the actual stitching is on the purse right there? Okay. So let me show you this purse. So this purse does not have that stitching there. You see how it just stitches straight up and across like that? This is a fake. This is a fake. And I wanted to come on and tell you guys and show you guys that although it says coach on it right there, and it says leather, and it has that, see that stitching right there? That's what I'm talking about. It does not have it there. Okay, that's a telltale sign. Um, it does have um, this, and let me show you this here. <laughs> right to you, proof Donna never looks things up. But you know, with Coach Pocketbooks um, and Designer Pocketbooks, you know, I've been around them enough that um, I, you know, I do know them. Let's see if it was this one, because I looked at several. Mm, nope, it wasn't this one. Hold on one second. Am I screen sharing? No, let me screen share. Okay. Let me screen share this. Okay, let me see if it was this one. that shows it no what i'm looking for is this little tag which i want to show you how authentic this fake looks um let's see coach one one let's do this and let's do this and let's search and only has one result. Nope, this is the only result that it has. So let's do this. Okay. Let's see. That one we looked at. Let's see if it's this one. Um... Is this the one that we looked at? 
It is. So that's not what I want to find. I wanted to show you, hold on, let's see. And you can see how much time it takes sometimes just to look things up. Let's see if I can find another one. This one was on Poshmark. This item sold. Okay, here it is. Let's see if I can open this up. Okay. You see that there? That's what I wanted to show you. And there it is. You see it? So, unfortunately, this is not a real coach pocketbook. And I stand behind my products. And if I think it's real and I say it's real, um, I thought those things were stamped leather and not inked gold writing. I've never seen one with gold writing. So this is the purse that I carry. This is a real Coach pocketbook, And um, this has the stamp inside of it and it is not in gold writing. So perhaps some of them are in gold writing. Mine is not. Uh, this one is not. The one that they're showing online is. Um, oh, Mama G, absolutely. Always and forever. Always and forever. Um, I stand behind it. You know, I had an incident where someone uh, returned a buyer, a YouTube buyer returned a pocketbook and said that it was a, a fake and it wasn't a fake. It was a real it was a real pocketbook and I resold it and the person is reselling it. They bought it from me for really low money and they're reselling it for, you know, I don't think they've sold it yet. I keep watching it because they they're selling it for double of what they bought it from me. For, they bought it from me for, for 1500 and they're reselling it for $3,000. So, um, <laughs> You're so funny, Saxton. But anyways, so if it wasn't for Mama G making a comment, I think maybe she may have looked it up and she may have realized it, um, um, that it wasn't real. And that's why she made a comment about put the serial number in or she put the, she put the serial number in the chat. And that kind of like gave me like a little bit of suspicion as to, hmm, she must have looked it up. I didn't look it up. And I'm sorry for not looking it up. Um, I will be more careful when it comes to looking up pocketbooks if I'm not 100% sure. This came out of a storage unit yesterday along with some beautiful authentic. So just because someone, um, just because someone, I did not look it up. Just because someone has authentic pocketbooks doesn't mean that all of their pocketbooks are authentic because some of the doonies that I got in that lot were, are beautiful and they are authentic. So, hello, Christina. Welcome in. So, that's the deal, you guys. This is a wonderful fake, and I don't see Sandy Kirk in the chat, but I will be sending this for free to Sandy Kirk. Um, just as a thank you for being such a great customer and a wonderful supporter of the channel. She will get that mail to her as a free gift, um, from me. And I just wanted to come on, clear the air about the purse and, um, that's it. I mean, I just spent, you know, a lot of time researching it and, um, it's a really great fake. It's a really, it's a really, really, really great fake. Um, and that's it. Fake. Real. Right. And um, I wish I had time to do more of these videos so that um, I can help you guys just, you know, 
determine fake from real because if you were out in the wild and you saw that purse and it was, you know, $50, $60, you'd buy it. And a lot of times thrift stores have final sales and you'd be stuck with it. You'd be stuck with it. Me, I'm lucky. I got a whole big storage unit full of all kinds of stuff. So um, I'm happy to send it to Sandy Kirk as a free gift. Anyways, so that's it, you guys. I just wanted to clear the air on that and uh, let you guys know that if by chance, you know, something like this happens, I will always stand behind it. And um, I would never, ever, ever sell a fake pocketbook to anyone. Absolutely no. That could destroy my channel. Absolutely destroy my channel. And, you know, for those of you that bought all of those Doonies, um, and all of those coach Paco books in the past several months, you know, how beautiful they are and you know how authentic they are. Donna, I don't know about the rest of them and I know I don't come in very often, but the reason I came is because you are an honest, genuine person. Mwah. Thank you, Douglas. Thank you, sweetheart. I really appreciate it. Um, I bought a fake and I'm stuck with that. You didn't buy it from Mama, from me, Mama G, did you? I hope not. I hope not. Um, because I would stand behind it 100%. Just like that beautiful Chanel pocketbook that I sold. Um, I stand behind it 100%. Um, okay, that's it. I'm tired. I just wanted to come on, clear the air, let you guys know. Um, thank you for the support. Thank you for the love. I'll see you on the flip side. All right.